Mr. Speaker, it is important that as soon as we get back here today, it was our first day back, that we get back on the focus of creating jobs in this country. And not, not jobs that government says we can create, but, but sustainable jobs that are created by the private sector. Private capital assuming risk, hoping for a return to get economic growth. There's no better opportunity to do that with the Keystone XL pipeline. This is what we're talking about. Here's the oil up here in Edmonton. There's already a pipeline that goes down into my, my district, actually, Patoka, a refinery in Wood River, and a, a new uh, refinery also in, uh, in the eastern, central eastern part of the state of Illinois. The Keystone XL will be this blue line, which will bring more crude. Why do we need another pipeline, a bigger pipeline? Because there's so much crude oil up there in Canada, and they really don't have the ability to refine it. They really don't have the ability to market it. Let's get this crude to, uh, to U.S. refineries so that we can then access it to our markets. The great thing of the folks from the Midwest, as you had Mr. Terry, you had Mr. Lada, we already understand the benefits of the Keystone XL pipe or the Keystone pipeline because we're already receiving the, the product to our refineries. This is the oil sand. It's just oil that coats sand. And they boil it off. They recover the froth. They turn it into... Uh, a liquid product called bitumen, and then it eventually gets turned into synthetic crude, and that's what we're talking about. The third, the third largest oil reserves in the world are right here. How do you get it? A lot of times you do it through surface mining. Here's an example. Now, this, uh, the, the trucks are actually a little bit bigger in the mining operation. They're about seven stories tall. The tires are at least one story tall. Built by a U.S. company called Caterpillar, located in Illinois, and uh, that's where many, 50% of all these heavy dump trucks go to mining operations around the world. One of their big markets right now is right in Canada. Robinson Oil Refinery is the other refinery um, in, in Illinois. It's receiving, uh, it's receiving the uh, oil sands product, uh, moving it into a product to, to, to meet to the market. So these are real jobs at a real time uh, that will create real jobs, 20,000 immediately, and as my colleagues have said, ancillary jobs. You have pumping stations. You need to build the pumps. You've got to have the electricians that operate it. So this is something, private capital, return on investment, energy security. The president says he believes in the free, for, free flow of oil when he's trying to address Ahmadinejad and Iran and the Strait of Hormuz. There's no better free flow of oil than, than permitting the Keystone XL pipeline. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back my time.